What's up Zelda fans? This week we have info on amiibo compatibility in Twilight Princess HD as well as a new dungeon. And Errol speaks for Link in Hyrule Warriors Legends. I'm Amanda Van Heil of Zelda Universe and you're watching Zelda News. We've known that Twilight Princess HD would utilize Amiibo figures, but weren't exactly sure in what capacity. Well, Nintendo has unveiled the Amiibo functionality in the upcoming HD release. Most notably is accessing the new dungeon Cave of Shadows by tapping the Wolf Link Amiibo. Upon successfully completing all the challenges in the cave, players can save a record of their remaining hearts to the Wolf Link Amiibo. Players can replay the Cave of Shadows as many times as they want to try and improve their heart score. For players who need a little extra help, tapping both Link and Toon Link from the Smash series of Amiibo will replenish your arrows, while the Zelda and Sheik Amiibo will fill up your hearts. But if you're up for a challenge, or you're like me and you just want to give your friends and family a hard time, tap the Ganondorf Amiibo to double the damage that Link receives from enemies. You know how annoying it is to be strolling through Hyrule and you pick up a silver rupee, only to find out you don't have enough room in your wallet to carry it? Well, the bottomless wallet in Twilight Princess HD should remedy that problem. Previously, you were maxed out at 1,000 rupees with the giant wallet, but if you clear the Cave of Shadows while carrying the giant wallet, you'll be rewarded with the bottomless wallet, which holds 9,999 rupees. Link is often referred to as the silent protagonist. In Hyrule Warriors and now Hyrule Warriors Legends, Proxy the Fairy speaks for both Link and Young Link, but with the inclusion of Toon Link in Hyrule Warriors Legends, his baby sister Errol does all the talking for him, and she calls him Big Brother. She's such a sweet little sister. February 21st marks the 30th anniversary of The Legend of Zelda, and to celebrate, we at Zelda Universe are featuring a series of articles, 30 years and 30 days. So every day until the 21st, we will have a different article discussing the various Zelda events and releases for each year, starting with 1986 and going up through 2016. Well, that's all for this week, everyone. Thank you so very much for watching. I'm Amanda Van Heil with Zelda Universe. I'll see you next week.